For some couples, they prefer to combine their incomes into one bank account. However, there are some important factors to consider before combining your money with a significant other. Mark Evanson is here with us now, Vice President of, at Cornerstone Community Financial Credit Union, also known as CCFCU. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. So is it ever a good idea to combine accounts? Absolutely. It can always be a good idea. How it can. So? Why? <laughs> There, there, there's a lot. There's a lot of benefits that come with combining your accounts. When you, when you have that, those joint revenues, uh, you can plan better. Uh, you can, you can pay down debt faster. Um, and when you're working through long-term financial goals, um, it, it helps you with the, with the overall picture when you understand each other's finances. So, if someone does want to join accounts, how do you approach that other person in the relationship? There, there are really three things if, if you're gonna combine with a significant other. Um, reviewing each other's level of debt uh, and credit, incredibly important. Uh, evaluating savings and spending habits and then discussing those long-term financial goals. Um, consider sharing your credit report uh, and score with your significant other. Uh, we think it's really important that both parties understand the past financial habits, which could be levels of debt, it could be how they made their payments, um, it could be the types of debt. Maybe they're straddled with student loan debt or a lot of credit card. So it's important that everybody's on the same page when we're, when we're talking about our debt levels uh, and paying special attention to that and having the conversation around how are we going to move forward financially uh, as a partner if we combine our debts. So what are some long-term and short-term goals that couples should keep in mind when it comes to combining joint account, accounts? You know, really review your savings and spending habits. That's a very short-term goal. Uh, make sure you're both on the same page. Um, if, if you have two spenders uh, in a relationship uh, or two savers in a relationship, uh, if you're on the same page, you can create that budget. Uh, what we found is when you have a saver and a spender, that's when things can uh, create a little bit of animosity between couples. And it doesn't always work when you're combining your finances. Uh, when you're thinking long-term goals, uh, that's when we're looking at credit that's when we're looking at who's the saver, who's the spender. If you're both savers, that's phenomenal. But when we think long term, maybe it's home ownership, retirement, travel. It's not just about the money. It's about what people want out of uh, retirement. What do people want out of their homes? Because it can make a big difference if if you have one saver and one spender, and you're not on the same page. What plans should couple make together? They should plan to sit down and create a budget together, regardless of their savers or spenders. Sit down, create a budget, make sure that this is something that you both can live with. Otherwise, again, you may create the animosity between one or the other. And when you're saving for that big purchase, the, the home or retirement, you need to make sure that you're both on the same page for, for longevity. And where can people go to find out more information about CCFCU? You can absolutely, you can go to our website at ccfinancial.com. And if you are interested in some budgeting, you can stop into one of our offices as well. We have a great uh, software called Cash Coach. And if you were to join our organization, we can help you through that process as well. Mark Evanson with Cornerstone Community Financial Credit. Thanks for being here with us this morning. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.